Welcome, my name is Greg Spicer and we're at the Wellsaw factory and today I'm going to review some of the basic details of the model 1318 hinge type bandsaw. Uh, this particular model is a semi-automatic version and, but first I'll highlight the, the features that are common with our standard model 1318. First of all, this is a, obviously a scissor type machine uh, with 13 inch high by 18 inch wide capacity. Uh, this machine is built at our factory here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, the, the parts are all local. The steel is local. The castings are local. Uh, we, we build virtually the whole machine right here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. Uh, all the painted surfaces are now powder coated. Um, so uh, this is a this machine comes standard with a flood coolant system with an eight gallon coolant reservoir. It comes standard with a one inch blade and the spring loaded carbide guides. Uh, in three phase, this saw has three horsepower with infinitely variable band speed. And when we stand on the back side of the saw, I'll show you how that's adjusted. The, the, the weight of the saw head is controlled by the counterbalance spring and we'll show the adjustment on that also. Uh, the saw comes standard with a stock stop, adjustable stock stop for repeated cuts. The coolant flows through the blade guides and has, uh, each guide is adjustable with this manifold. Uh, the, the saw automatically shuts off at the end of the cut with the, this micro switch. And I'll show you the Power blade brush is standard on the saw here with a, a belt drive off the band wheel. Now let's, uh, what we're going to do is walk around to the back side of the machine to look at the controls and, and I'll, uh, I'll clarify some of the details that make the semi-automatic feature unique. First of all, again, here's the counterbalance spring to control the weight of the saw head, uh, and there's an adjustment at the bottom to fine tune that. The band speed is controlled from 85 to 385 feet per minute with this knob. Uh, when the machine is ordered uh, in single phase, and it is available in 115 and 230 single phase, this becomes a two horse motor. Uh, the control, the down feed control on the standard 1318 is controlled with this metering valve here, the hydraulic control. This particular model is a semi-automatic version, uh, which gives us a powered vise and a powered frame raise and it's PLC controlled. So the sequence of operation is automatic. And I'll show you how that goes through. The uh, first, we select how high we want the saw head to go up in the semi-automatic operation, and we simply adjust the position of this collar uh, with the with the limit switch. Uh, then the operator would adjust the, the basic position of his vise, and he can fine-tune that position with his hand wheel. And the, and the operator is going to select a cutoff length with his stock stop. Say he's going to cut a six inch piece. He position the stock stop to six inches and advance his stock to that. And then he's going to close the vice jaw and start the blade. Then all he does is press the green automatic cycle button and the saw head is going to make the cut and once the cut is complete, you'll see the uh, saw head will raise and the vise will open. 
the operator simply advances his stock for the next cut, starts the lathe, and begins the automatic cycle again. And, and over the course of a day, this semi-automatic feature will save a tremendous amount of time. Now, other features that are common to the 1318 is the right tension device, which is factory preset. The operator, when he changes the blade, all he does is tighten the T-handle, and it will come to an abrupt stop, and it's calibrated to provide him with the correct tension. Uh, let's see, on this saw, uh, the, the powered frame rays and the powered vise are, they use shop air, which is controlled by, by this filter dryer lubricator. And that covers about the whole picture. Thank you.